funny because everyone approached the quarantine differently. Did you get a lot accomplished during the quarantine? Oh Are you one of those people that, that took care of stuff? I did the mistake, and I'm sure a lot of people did too, those first couple weeks I mapped out I'm going to get all these books read. I'm going to have an exercise <laughs> regimen. I'm going to use this time wisely. And then a month later, I was having Cheetos for breakfast and <laughs> like rewatching uh, like, like shows I'd seen a million times, didn't read any books. I, I, it took me a month to just, and I just went crazier than a barn full of clown pubes. Like I was just out <laughs> of my freak. And folks, look. Wait a listen, minute. I'm not. What are you? You gotta explain that one. I'm not, I, look, I don't wanna get canceled for that, okay? I'm just saying clown, clown pubes are perfectly natural, clown sex is fine, whatever you wanna do, I'm not judging. The, I'm saying cr the crazy is the person who gathered up enough pubes to fill a barn. Yes. That is what I, I just want go. you to know that I'm not putting the crazy on the clown pubes, it's the act of gathering yes. enough clown pubes to fill a barn, and please, yeah. I'm just saying, clown pube shaming hurts all of us, and I don't <laughs> want that to be, just don't want that to be a problem. Uh, what so. about this, what about the fact, because you're a guy, very thoughtful, and I, I look to you for the answers. We're in a post- Why? <laughs> I just said barn full of clown I pubes. Know, you I know, I know. Clearly a mistake on my you need part. A better guru. I got drunk with a doll in 2013. <laughs> Listen to me, but in this post-pandemic world, mm -hmm. do you think life is going to be different? There are schools of thought. Some people say it's going to be radically different. Some people say we're going to drift back to what we used to be. Absolutely nothing is going to change. I remember right when the <laughs> pandemic started and it got really bad, I would sit around with my wife and say, well, you know, the buffets are never coming back. You kiss that goodbye. Buffets are going to come back so hard, and, <laughs> and they're going to come back in that defiant kind of like, are you a pussy, or can you come and eat at the Golden Corral? <laughs> we don't have any of these, like, they, I, I swear to me, like, we don't have any of those woke sneeze guards, like those liberal left coast weirdos, like, come on out here and get, get on out to our cough welcome zone. Uh, it's just gonna be... We're utensil free. Yeah. <laughs> There's no sink in our bathroom. <laughs> we'll build a Caesar salad right in your mouth. <laughs> can you take no sneeze guard dining or can you not make love to your wife? <laughs> Buffets are gonna come back huge. Yep. All the cruise ships are already sold out. Yes. They've sold, they're, people have spent a year watching cruise ships mired off of coast because they were full of plague and death. And now they're like, well, it, I guess they're, they're discounting it now. I'll, I mean, <laughs> if the plague ship is expensive, then no. But if they're gonna throw in, you know, a free water slide passes, I, I, how can I say no? <laughs> Nothing, will Nothing will change. change. Nothing will change. All right. And uh, it's sad.